Hello there everyone, this is I am Mark 3 and welcome to Far Lone Sails. Hmm. I stumbled across um, a few pictures and videos of this and I thought, you know, that looks really interesting. I kind of want to give that a go. So what we've got on our hands here is a nice atmospheric game, which I'll be playing as um, a main series. It's been a while since I've done one of these, actually. I think the last one was, uh, yeah, the mo most recent one was actually Last Station, and I think that was best at least a year ago at this point. <laughs> so, you know what? Cool. Let's get us some atmosphere. Far, lone sails. And the idea is I've got to go as far as I can and find, well, what, whatever I find, really. So, hmm. In this lonely, lonely world. There's me sitting by the tree. Well, that's me. I'm the only colour in this place. Okay, so we've got a... I think that might be my home, or what's left of it. And we've got a picture. A grave, I think this is, so... Oh, yeah, up his jump. No crouch, though. Left and right, left and right. I just had to try and get past because there's some in this game tends to have little secrets hidden around the place but there's nothing back there so i think this might be the final resting place of someone maybe my father or dear uncle or someone some carer and now i'm by myself in this world because this seems like a very mournful scene to me so we start to walk to see where we will go. And there's something red there. Ooh, and it fell over V. No. Okay, I'll pick that up. Right, so what do I need this for then? All I know is I need to go into this house. Mm, plans. Ah, there's the uh, vehicle that I saw in the video that made me sit up and take notice. It's like... Um, I've said it a few times. I've got a bias for steampunky type things. So if I press up. Ding! We have movement. So do I, do I need to... Ah, yep. Need to jump onto that. It shows us the, the vehicle. That door's opened over there. So this is a plan. And there are a couple of guys in the background. So this must be a, a workshop of some kind. There's two beds, but one of them is up in the... Yeah, th this place had two people in it. Yeah, one of... I must be one of those. Though actually there's a picture of me here and there's two other people there with... Um... I think I see a little red figure on the left side of that one. So maybe that's my parents? I don't really know. Oh, with hold X I can zoom in. Yep, I think this is my place. I think I'm a child. My own little space tucked away in the roof. And... No, that's not me. He's just holding something or other. I don't know if I need this box I'm carrying, quite honestly, but... Oh. Oh. That wardrobe is actually in the way. There's also something else I can pick up over there as well. Oop. And apparently that leads outside. <laughs> For sure. But if I drop down here, then I can drop past here. Yep. And I can drop here and continue this. Oh, there's something else under there. Um, how do I... V, isn't it? Yeah, V. Right. It zooms me in. There's a briefcase of some kind. And there's something down... Hello. Oh, it's, it's an old push pram. Can't get it, but it's just tucked away under there for some reason. Don't know why that's there. But the fact is, I'm still very much alone. I'll push this. Oops. I can just bring it along with me. <laughs> I don't know if there's a reason to do so, but um, I can. 
So I'm going to. There's no way back though because I just dropped off a ledge. So let's just keep on pushing, pushing, pushing. This is probably slowing down a little bit. But um, you probably noticed by now there's all this debris all over the place. This world is... Well, this place at least seems to be lying in ruins for the most part. There's some buildings. There's some kind of village... Oh, oh no. Those, those... The roofs have caved in. A lot of those roofs have caved in. So I'm not really seeing much. There's also... Path down here into what was an ocean floor, I think. I don't want to leave behind that precious, precious thing. But the uneven terrain is making it very hard to carry it with me. Maybe I'm just being silly. Eh, I can probably go back and get it. Is this silly of me? I don't know. It's like... um. This place seems to be lonely and precious, so I kind of want to bring these things with me. You know, in case it's a thing. Though I am, I am, I can, I am very sure now that this is actually slowing me down quite a bit. Just dragging these along as I push on through the ooh, into the water. Hmm. I was not expecting water. I must admit, the impressions of the game, well, the glance I had at it, made it look like the sea had all dried up or something. But yet, there's water right there. A splash of colour on that rock through this broken wall. Come on. Yep. Just keep pushing my mailbox along. <laughs> At least I think that's my mailbox. And... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. I think we found it. I think we found it. I think we found ourselves a... our, our means of conveyance. Yep. Yep, there it is. And I brought the letterbox and this along. No, I'm throwing the briefcase around the place. Okay, so this is how we get around the place. This is my means of conveyance. It is a steam vehicle, I think. Some kind of steam engine. It's got energy and speed there, steam at the top. And I control it by pressing buttons. I have to keep it fueled, though. Um, yeah, if I jump up here, this should just, do I need to, uh, okay, yeah, okay, I can just let go and it will latch onto the hook just over there. So let's actually do the same with the briefcase. The briefcase, let's hang all these things in the top, because these, these were made by my carers, my parents, by someone. So put that there. I've got a chair here, apparently. I'll just leave that be for the moment. But yeah, this is my home now. Yay! And notice, by the way, you see that thing below me? Um, with all the zeros on it? That is a distance counter. So this thing can actually track how far you get. Though I'm... Because, well, the Steam page videos made no attempt to hide this. This vehicle can catch fire. It can get damaged. It can break. So, looking after it is kind of important. And I think it was this thing, wasn't it? It's red, so it's something I can use. Um. Oh, okay, it says energy, but we know it's a steam vehicle, so I think that's water, and this is a fire hose, and it connects straight into the craft's onboard water supply. Okay. So I've got to keep energy in the tank, so to speak. I don't know why it calls it energy. But I refill this using this thing here, which loads it up. I have to jump up and hit that. It does something to it, and then throws it into the energy storage tank over there. So that's two boxes I've thrown in. There's a third box here, and I think that's about it for what I've got. Oops. Hmm. Yep, that's going. I can see bubbles rising in the tank, though, so that is water, and it is definitely draining it. Okay. And, yep, you can get outside there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm spending too long just poking at this vehicle, aren't I? 
But still, there is um, there's more hooks there. There's, uh, hang on. Oh, is that is that a winch? It is. Yep, that's a winch. Okay, so there, this thing has a, a, a winch on the front that we can use to tow or move something. I don't know what. Okay, um, right. Let's look around. We need to figure out the last couple of bits and pieces. We've got two more buttons to press. The steam button, which uh, goes puff, 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 and tries to fumigate me, I think. I hope, at least I'm, oh, I, I don't know what it's doing, really. <laughs> but it's not doing much of else. This one is... I believe it's the brake, from what I've seen. Yep, brake. We drop a massive metal hook, and then we press it again and it lifts it. Oh, no, wait. Um, is it self-lifting? Oh, it... Um, oh, the switch needs to reset. I see. So you hit it, and then you hit it again. And then the last one is the one connected to this big dial marked speed. So, two guesses what this one's going to do. Hmm. If you guessed make us move, you guessed correctly. So, press this thing. Notice the make. It's noisy! We're moving! We're breaking things! Uh, what happens if I press X? Oh, I'll zoom in. Sorry, zoom in. Notice, by the way, the speed button slowly depresses, and... Oh, steam. And we've shut off again. Okay. So yeah, it'll depress itself over time, but steam, that was glowing red, so... Probably that thing needs to be vented every once in a while. Ah, C, that's it. Yeah, we can see the thing in motion just out here. It's like, my own little steam-powered land ship. Pretty cool, actually. Where are we going? I have no idea, but just keep on going, please. Come on. Move, move, move. Keep on going. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, look at the thing go. That that whirling engine that's actually the power plant at the back is awesome. But also, look at the level. We can zoom out, we can see it, but look at the energy level. This thing burns through energy so fast. I'm going to have to put in the other thing, actually. Uh, what was it? B? There it is. Because, yeah, without that, can't move. Come on, you can keep on moving. You can make it up the slope. I lost a lot of momentum, but you can keep, you can do it. Come on. Obviously, that was the worst place to grind to a halt, actually, at the bottom of a little puddle. Because <laughs> this ma this machine has momentum. I have to try and keep it going. Oh, steam slashing. And I can still jump, even if I've zoomed out. It's just I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, wow. I've, I think I've exhausted my onboard fuel reserves. Oh, never mind. B brakes! Brakes! Ugh. Braking also pops out the speed button as well, it looks like, so that's good. Because we've actually found some crates. We found some materials as we were driving through the ocean. So I just need to gather these. I need to load them back up. Well, load them back up. They weren't in my craft to start with, but... Oh, you know what I mean. Let's just start pushing. <laughs> push, push, push. Come on, you can... Oh, lost one. Oh, well. But these are vital supplies. I mean, one of these, from what I saw, is like half a gauge worth of stuff. So not too much, really. Didn't mean to come out here. So, yeah, let's check this. I'm practically dry, so if I hit that... Uh, converts to water. That was, yep, that's just about half a tank. 
Just about half a tank. Oops. Just need to get the rest of this stuff loaded. I want it to be near where I can load it immediately. Though, admittedly, I have to move away from the controls if I want to do that, don't I? Um, well, having those there seems fine. Don't see anything else, really. Okay, let, let's keep on going. Let's start at the magical dream machine once more. Onwards! Begin to move! But really, I think, to make the most use out of this, we need to... We need to keep moving. Because when we stop, we have to accelerate again. We need to keep on going. Refuel. Grab one. Throw it down. Get back to the button. Good. Keep on going. Release the steam! Yep, look at this. We're just storming ahead now. Oh, I see things. Okay, we better get ready to stop. Come on, push up the hill. I know you can do it. Come on, push. Keep on going. Oh, look at this. We, we, we had all that momentum and that hill just consumed it all. And we're just grinding to a halt again. We didn't even need the brakes, really. We, we were so low. Our momentum was just completely gone. I accidentally put that down first, but the lift came down and just latched onto it, so that's okay. Okay, let's go ahead and grab these things then. But we're, we're doing good so far, I think. At least I like to think, as I bulldoze all of these supply crates in. Push it, push it, push it. Come on, up it goes. Yep, 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 come on. Oh, oh, oh so close. Come on. Yeah. No, you don't. Just a little bit. Yep, I have to be very gentle with that last one, but yay, I've got them all here now. Ha ha! Oops. Unfortunately, they won't quite go up this slope properly. Oh! Um, I accidentally pushed one straight onto the hook. <laughs> okay, that, that that's okay with me. Sure. Where am I going to put these other ones, though? Um, I'm going to need this one before long, so I might as well just pop it there. And this one... Uh, I guess that's if we just pop it there. Sure. I mean, I can always fetch it later if I need it. But I think that's okay. Right. Are we ready to continue? I think we are ready to continue. Forwards! Come on. You've got a downhill start. You, you, you're going to go. Good, good, good. I can't see a darn thing, though. I must admit. Oh, it's getting a bit bumpy. No, no dramatic music, though, this time. We need to get... ...that thing loaded. Oh! The steam can act as a speed boost! Oh, brakes, 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 brakes! Ooh. <laughs> well, braking was just... Well, it wasn't as urgent as it was like, brakes! But... Hmm. Well, that's new. A barrel. Probably high explosive. Hmm. Okay, let's just push all this down. But yeah, apparently we can use steam. Um, when I hit the steam bar, it seemed to give me a sudden burst of power. So I think steam, if it builds up too much, it's bad. But having some in the tank is good. So it's a risk-reward kind of situation going on. Let's stash this thing up here, actually. Yeah, just attach this high explosive barrel to that. Um, oh, there's another hook up in the roof up there. If I put them there, though, they might be in the way. But that's all okay. So we can hop out and do that. Wait a tick. Is that another... It is! Yay! We've got another winch! So we can tow this vehicle. This vehicle can tow in either direction, but there's no button for it. 
Unless... What about this button up front? No, that only works the front one. So, there's no button for the rear winch. As far as I can tell. Interesting. I have no idea where that might be. Unless I've just not got one yet. Because this craft seems to have a few holes in it. Not entirely sure. There's also the fact that we know that this thing has sails as well. I mean, the uh, the steam page spoils that rather heavily. Okay, we need to keep going up here. Bring up the power. It's slowly starting to steam. Yep, look at that. We suddenly got a little burst of acceleration. It wasn't much. We didn't have much steam pressure. I'm guessing that's pressure. But now when I hit it... Oh yeah, look at that. Immediate improvement. But this is a real struggle for this machine. No matter how hard I push the the speed button, it will not go faster. Go faster, darn it. Honestly, that engine is not sounding too help. Oh, um, and it's all out of... Yeah, we're going backwards. Brakes. <laughs> okay, so um, not having the brakes on on a hill is apparently bad. Okay. And that is... Yeah, I'd say that's half a tank. Let's throw another one in there. Yeah, they seem to be a half a tank. Just lob this one on here. And let's go ahead and fetch the other one just in case. Because we're probably going to need it. You know what, I might as well just hold it. Honestly. But we've lost what little momentum we had. This hill is just... Ugh. So push it. Oh, it's struggling to even go anywhere. <laughs> it really doesn't like hills. At all. Hmm, I think we're... That's uh, some kind of crane over there. Oh, yep, yeah, look at that. Immediate improvement to performance. It, it actually burned all the steam, actually. It released all the steam we had. Oh. Where are we going? Oh, there's another box over there. Um, I'll, okay, let it coast a little while. It loses momentum really fast, actually. We're going slightly downhill, but it's r quickly grinding to a halt. Um, okay, hit the button. Right. Come on. Push. Yep, okay, we got that. We are by some kind of coastal defense wall, I think. Looking at the thing in the background. Not entirely sure. I do think we're running along the seabed, though. Yeah, and something knocked through there. That hole is not by design. You can see the railings are buckled on either side of it. So something broke through there. But I have no idea what. But in other places it looks like it's just run down. Flat out. So, I, I don't know. Come on, off we go. I guess one of my questions is, does steam pressure remain after we stop moving? Okay, got a bit of steam up. Let's hit it. Yep, one hit does drain the entire steam bar. But we are moving and... Ooh, what's that? And steam pressure depletes... Okay, yeah. So I can't fill the tank with steam and then wait. Oh, that's foreground anyway. I shouldn't have stopped. No. So I can't just... Uh, steam pressure, if I don't use it and I hit the brakes, then I lose it, basically. Oh, my. Kind of pressing hard with that. Off we go. Come on. Thank you. But yeah, I can't save steam pressure for later use. Oh, that might, looks like it might be kind of kept time to... Almost time to use the brakes. 
Come on, keep going. A little bit further. Because that looks like... Am I going to sink into that? I think I might. In which case, I don't want to be here. Not quite. Um... Okay. Yeah, I was going to hit that, I think. So, what is this all about? Can I get up there? Uh, 52.4 meters. Those signs are all seed of water depths. So, okay, so the oceans in this world did dry up. This is a place. Hmm. I can't get up there, I don't think. No, I can't. Do I have to? Is there something I can do here? No, that's like... That's a dead end. Um... Uh, I think I have to hit it, I guess. Okay. That was rather dramatic for the level of impact. Then it stopped and... Oh, and the moment it did... Okay, I had to hit that. <laughs> oh, well, at least it was a gentle tap, I suppose. I don't think I got damaged. But now I can just hop up onto here and... There's something on the crane. What's, what is that? Also, there's a bouncy ball here. Um, yay! Bouncy ball! I've, I've got a ball to play with in this desolate world. Uh, oh, yep. Yep. This used to be an ocean crane. I can see it in the picture. But there's also a button here, which is... Ooh. I'm getting a thing. Ooh, I, I think those are the sails. Looks like sails. Yes. Are those sails? And then... Yeah, achievement. Set sail. I've got sails! Woo! I've also got this bouncy ball. Double woo! I've got something to play with on my long journey. Also, these things can act as a platform, apparently. How do I get past them? Can I? No, I, I have to go this way. <laughs> right. Oh, and apparently I don't really fall in the conventional sense either. Oh, I think the lantern's on a hook as well, actually. Um, let's let's throw the ball down on my bed then. So that's there. There we go. But look, look, I I, I don't fall really in the conventional sense. It seems. Oh. Look up here. There's another bar. There were two bars, now there's three. That must be system health, I think. So, that's the only thing I can think of that it might be system health. So that must be health. That means that I can tell how damaged I am. Not just when things spontaneously catch fire. And I think if I press... Yep, yep, look, double, double lines. There was a double line on one of those bars. If I press this... We have sails. Okay. We can move without using our steam engine. Ha ha! Victory! Well, that's a very sustainable option, but it seems to lack the power of the steam option. Oh, oh well, at least we're not burning water or fuel or whatever it is to use that. Actually, that's pretty decent. We don't need the steam engine at all. Really do. Ooh. Well, that's a bit of a crunch. Oh dear. Just to keep an eye out and make sure I don't... Hello, birds. Seagulls. I'm just quite happily sailing now. <laughs> I wonder what happened to this world. 